Oh, that is crazy. Wow, completely out of the water. Oh my God. Let's take a look at four. How many? Four crazy boat wrecks out on the lake. Woo, let's go. First thing in the morning, flying down this lake about 70 plus miles an hour. Gotta make sure we get to that first spot before anybody else beats us there. Running down this lake like we're some NASCAR drivers. And that's one of the things that's exciting about this bass boat tournaments is you wanna get out there on the water and make sure you pass everybody out there. We're taking these waves, we're taking these turns. Watch how sharp we come in here, take this turn. Oh, wait a minute, you got, oh, oh, oh wait a minute. That is not how you want to start the day off out here on the water. That could have been a terrible situation taking place right there. But it looks like he's doing all right. I meant to do that. And he's actually kind of calm for what just happened because that was definitely a deadly situation. Okay, there he goes. He's stopping and taking a breather. I would be too, but it kind of looks like he may still be in the game. All right, cleaning the boat off. Looks like he's kind of heated about that when that adrenaline is pumping. At the beginning of these tournaments, it can be very dangerous out there. We're taking off running about 70 miles an hour plus. Wow. First thing in the morning, you're seeing those boats out there ahead of you running across those waves. Take a look at how big those things get sometimes. Huge. It can get dangerous. So you always want to make sure that you're taking care and keeping your eye on the water. Woo. Dangerous, 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 guys. You can say that again. Luckily, he was okay in this one. And it kind of looked like his boat was fine. It's just a scratch. It can be fixed. And I'm pretty sure there was some damage on the bottom of it, but he was still able to get back in there and get back in the game. Got to be safe. Always got to be careful out there on the water. Let's take a look at another clip. You can see that boat in the wake whenever it flipped over in the water. Oh man, the guy is right there trying to swim back to the boat. Very, very dangerous situation here, guys. This is another dangerous situation, guys. First thing in the morning, you can see out there as that boat flips over, that guy had to have hit a wake that was put out by one of the boats that was ahead of him. What? is a wake. A wake are the waves that are left behind by other boats. Remember I mentioned that before? Dangerous situation, guys. First thing in the morning, running across these lakes 70 miles an hour or so, you're not paying attention and you hit those waves in the wrong direction, disaster can happen, guys. But if you notice, one of the first things they asked that guy is, is he by himself? And they told them to put a waypoint at that location. And that's basically so they can come back and locate that boat. Because if you pay attention, you see that that boat is sinking and it is not going to make it. They will probably come back and try to locate that boat if the water is not too deep. But hey, who knows? Make sure you wear your life jacket. Make sure you wear that kill switch. If that motor stays on and the boat spins back around, that prop is no joke. You do not want to fight with that. This next wreck is the craziest of them all. You gotta see this. All right, here he comes. He is flying. He is definitely up on pad on this one. He's crossing those waves. Oh, oh my goodness, guys. Did you see him go flying out of that boat? Let's take a look at that one again. Attention all boat drivers. Greg's life vest and kill switch saved his life today. Look at that boat as it hits those waves. That is what I was speaking about a little earlier, guys. He was unconscious in the water for 10 minutes. His life vest floated him face up in the water. Wow. 
that last wave is what got him, guys. Once he went airborne and that boat kind of turned to the side. Oh, wow, completely out of the water. Oh, man, it slammed him up against the boat. That must have been the part right there that knocked him unconscious. And he's so close to the motor. That prop, guys, that prop is spinning. Sometimes five, 6,000 RPM. Four revolutions per second. More like 100 revolutions per second. Notice Greg is underwater. He is underwater at the moment and unconscious, guys. That life jacket pulled him back up. I still can't even. There he goes. He came back up. Wearing that kill switch is vital. Look how close he came to hitting the, the prop on that motor. Always wear your life vest and kill switch. Definitely. Both of those combined is what saved this guy's life. All right, they're playing this back in reverse. Okay. Yeah, that looks kind of cool right there. Whoa, there he goes coming back into the boat. Whoo. Now, hey, this was a deadly situation, but that was some cool footage right there, guys. I, I really thought it was going over backwards. Wow, his boat didn't sink at all. Wow, that was crazy, guys. That was really a life or death situation for that guy. Even if they had turned back around, that may not have been enough time to save him if he did not have his life jacket and his kill switch on. But there's something that you should take note of. Each one of these situations has something in common, trying to cross the wake of another boat. One of the most dangerous situations in tournaments is that early morning blast off. In some cases, there are up to 200 boats flying across the water at the same time. The waves are going in all different types of directions. If you hit those waves at the wrong angle, game over. Better safe than sorry. I've been in some situations where I'm kind of looking at that boater like, hey man, you might want to slow down a little bit. It's not really worth it trying to get to that spot to make that first cast when a lot of times you don't even start catching fish till nine or 10 o'clock anyways. I hope what you have seen in this video and hopefully some of the tips that I've given you are some things that can save somebody's life. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the subscribe button and clicking one of these other links so you can watch more videos similar to this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.